Let's begin. Man, we've gotten this map like every single time we do the random maps. Introducing our players in the Losers Bracket Finals. The winner of this heads to the Grand Finals of the Orb Star League. <laughs> Season 1, baby. Here we go. K-Dogs and about to be triggered on the side of Terrible 2s. They're going to be going up against Kariaga and Ethan. Subbing in for Swishin. So let's dive into this. Big save coming out of Kariaga. Ethan's going to be a nice addition to Kariaga. Swishin a little bit rusty last game, but that's okay. Uh, I think they're both pretty evenly matched, Swishin and Ethan there. So I think... Kariaga, only thing he'll be missing is the synergy that he's used to with Swishin', but Ethan will pull his own weight as he keeps that ball in play in front of the net and finds the opportunity to keep it there for Kariaga to secure the goal here. Kariaga's gonna go back here for some boost. Got a nice line of vision here to try and go into the ball. Goes for the challenge, but Kariaga just goes over him. Got to be triggered. Got to get this save. He does. Kariaga's going to go up for it. Now Kariaga waiting back here. He's going to go for his challenge as his teammate rotates back. And on the defense end, it seems like Terrible 2s are trying to find a way out. They do have this opportunity here, but it's a bit weak. Coming out of the drive there at midfield. And K Dogs tying it up. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to see if we're going to do our grand finals or not after this. K-Dog's finding his rhythm here mid-game. Gets another goal. Nice little tap above the defender there. Kickoff is heading towards green side. Terrible twos, k is gonna roll this one around. He's got no boost, he's starved right now. So Kariaga's gonna go up. Ethan's gonna go down to the left. And Kariaga almost set up for a goal. Gotta be triggered, he's trying to read this. A little bit too late to the party for getting that goal. Kariaga's gonna push downfield, it's a long shot. And it's a goal. We're tied up once again. Another back and forth match here in this day of July 24th. I don't know why we said day, but we had to go th with it. Here we go. Ethan's going to go up for it. Ethan has the rare opportunity here to eliminate three teams. He's already eliminated two teams in this tournament, but he might be able to eliminate a third team depending on how he plays in this series. Either way, he eliminates a team. So we'll find out which one it is. Kariaga can't quite find the reset and the ball barely touching the cross guard there. Okay, dogs off the corner. We're turning it around. Bringing it around town. Ethan's keeping it here on green side. He's going to go up for lots of boost. Tries to secure that shot. Ball's going to the right here. Rotating around. k Dogs finds it clear. I don't know how much boost he has. Gets saved. Kariaga, that's his third. All the way back now. This is such a high-paced game. Big demo. Kariaga's going to get the shot, though. Ah, his teammate's demolition. Teammate, of course, being demoed. I think that kind of tripped out Greenside here. About to be triggered was looking at something else during that sequence. Oh, 
All right, nice pass to Kariaga. Might not be the same chemistry, but they still do have chemistry. And that's really nice to see. And there's the big, nice lead addition coming from Ethan. Ethan's getting carried after he gots a goal. Gets a goal. <laughs> gots a goal. That's such a silly sentence, Caster. Why are you so bad at saying words? I don't know. Karyagas gets a demo on K Dogs. That's going to open a little bit of space. So Karyaga is going to try and find a way past. About to be triggered. Body blocking abilities. K Dogs going to push this one to the corner. Big bump from Ethan. And there's the pass to Kariaga. Nice pass. The shot goes off the post, though. Off the post. Minute remaining here for Terrible Twos. Game number one. Kariaga just barely get missing the clear there. But Ethan there to save the day. And he takes a shot. Being our sharpshooter that we know him to be, Ethan secures a dagger three-point lead in game number one. Wow. Pretty impressive display between Kariaga and his substitute Ethan 4350. Nice clear. Game number one, we just got to think about what kind of changes Terrible Twos need to be making. They just came out of an emotional best of five so maybe that's still weighing on them maybe they still need a bit of a reset not sure what it is but they're fighting hard still 15 seconds remaining they still go for the save and they grab it they're not letting loose even with the deficit here they're still playing hard Ethan gets a demo he's trying to demoralize them and balls in the air don't let it touch the ground it's rule number three and it's broken no fight drive We'll secure game number one here. About to be triggered, going for a little bit of a reset here. Hopefully we can get him back in time. Okay. All right, we're just gonna run a quick little break a ruski. I don't know why I said that, it's unnecessary. There you guys go. Man, I have no idea what they need to change. No idea whatsoever. Put that over here. Get some nice lighting for us. Maybe I should just put up here. No, it's too much lighting. And they get triple Brazilled. All right, about to be triggered. It's coming back after a fresh reset, and we're heading to Neo Tokyo, the good one. Looks like everyone is loaded in here. Everyone has the freshest copy of Rocket League, and they are ready to fight here in game number two of this best of five losers bracket finals. Kariaga is going to push this one forward. Early setup for his teammate Ethan, but about to be triggered. Triggering them best he can with a nice clear. Kariaga can't get to it in time. Nice early goal lead. Looks like that restart on the game helped out terrible twos. Kariaga gets a nice clear here. Triggered's waiting for him though. Triggered missing. K Dogs trying to get it past the goal there. He's got some nice maneuvering to try and keep it in play, but Kariaga's gonna get demolition. So there's the shot. Kariaga spawning just in time. 
Here comes the follow-up shot from k Dogs. Not gonna go in. Kariaga and Ethan can't find a way to get it out of their side of the field and k Dogs making the most of an opportunity to challenge swiftly. Pinching it off of the offender. Ball's going up. All right, here we go. Ethan's opportunity of four redemption. And the shot is taken going off the post here. Let's see. Triggered and K-Dogs working together nicely here, but there's a big bump coming out of Ethan. And Kariaga is trying to be patient. Not a lot of boost to work with, so he has to be patient. Off the corner here, pass is nigh. And there's a big challenge coming out of Ethan. Still no boost for Kariaga to work with. He's got to go all the way back, and he is on his way back to the ball right now, trying to challenge it with K-Dogs. Ethan takes the opportunity to miss. Kariaga there, though, coming in clutch before a shot could be taken on the open net. This ball not hitting the ceiling, so Ethan's going to be able to knock this one past K-Dogs. There's the shot off the post. Got challenge coming out of Ethan and about to be triggered. Somehow the boost was stolen from above, about to be triggered. And a nice clear coming out of Ethan. <clears throat> There's the shot from Kariaga. Epic save with K Dogs. That was really close. Somehow he just went to 0 to 100 real quick with that save. And about to be triggered, has got some maneuverability with his dribbling skills. Kariaga not having any of it. He's going to grab this, take control of it. Do his own dribbling, can't find the shot he's looking for, so he's gonna opt for a pass. Can't connect for the pass though. So Ethan's waiting downtown in his net. Gets a save. Comes another shot going to the side here. And nice patience from Bow to be triggered. He's gonna almost, but not quite get it past Kariaga. Here we go off the corner. Teams colliding here. It's a low scoring game, mid game here. And there's the shot. K Dog's able to connect with it before it gets any closer to his net. And Ethan's gonna bounce this one up. About to be triggered, having an opportunity to go for the net, but the ball, but whiffs. Just kind of in a stalemate here with these guys, trying to find a way past each other. Almost turns into a shot. The follow-up wasn't there by about to be triggered. It was just missed. Opportunity to really build a nice solid lead for terrible twos is missed there. Lo-fi drive. Having a lot of success here in game number one. Not finding any room for a goal here in game number two. Still a minute 15 here, a lot of room to get a goal. If they get a goal real soon, they have a strong opportunity to make something happen, to tie it up and go to overtime. k Dogs gets past one defender. Kariaga's turn, he's gonna bounce this one up, but the follow-up from Ethan, not so fast, says k Dogs, And he's there just in time to collect that save. Really nice setup from Lo-Fi Drive, but not fast enough. If I drive, need to find a way to grab this ball and take hold of it. That's what they're doing right now and almost a demo. All oh, the setup was so close to being available there for Kariaga. K-Dog is just keeping it barely out of his grasp. And now Kariaga is going to head for it. Can't quite pinch it though. 15 seconds now. About to be triggered, just stalling out for time at this point. Midfield, we're just sitting here. kariaga has got a lot of room here, but K-Dogs goes straight up and into the ball. We're heading to game number three. And we're tied up when we do it. And the reset is taking no bounce, count it. Not as bad as it could have been for these guys.
Well done for both these teams. Woo. All right, this is a solid series now. Could be back and forth. Yeah, this time Ethan not finding as much success as he's used to. And I say used to because that, he was used to last game. That's all he's, he's known in this series so far. So let's hop in into the next match. This is going to be a really nice uh, and important game for both these teams. Whoever wins this one only has to win one more. And that's a really big mental boost. You only have one more. Well, hey, if I don't win this one, I still got the next match to win it. And if you're the other team, it's do or die or you're out of the tournament. So really important match here in game number three, whoever wins this one. And I think if we look at the green team, Terrible Twos, they've... They're, they're a team that they, they're pretty good at reading their when they, they use their first game. So I'm trying to say to read their opponents, to read and understand their team, understand how much time they have to take shots, to be patient. And Ethan's going to grab the first goal off a crazy play as Karya goes up for it, turns into a fake. K-Dogs can't handle it, goes off the cross guard, and the pass is set for Ethan to get the first goal of game number three. Ball's going up on a Sunday, and Karyaga finding a way to just give it back to K-Dogs. Hopefully we can see a challenge here. No challenge. And K-Dogs gets demoed by Ethan on the return. About to be triggered. Big handful of mess happening in front of Lo-Fi's drive, drive's goal. <laughs> and K-Dog's going to keep it in play, trying to keep that pressure brewing for these guys. Eventually, they won't have enough to handle it. Boost starves and demos will secure this goal for terrible twos. That demo was huge off about to be triggered. He's looking to trigger... This entire team with plays like that. So now we're tied. Three minutes here. Oh no, now we're no longer tied. K Dogs getting a nice easy goal off this kickoff. Ethan just barely missing it off this failed follow through on this kickoff. And he goes up for it, but uh, he's not quite high enough and turns into a backflip. Kariaga being patient here about to be triggered not patient at all he doesn't care he wants to trigger you that means not a lot of patience he's just like boom 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 what are you going to do about me I'm the high school boldy that you've never been used to and K-Dogs is going to secure a goal that's his hat trick and lo-fi drive definitely triggered after this play it looked like it could have been a, a save off of Ethan there but it just wasn't enough Goes up for it, missing it. Not as warmed up as the rest of the crew here. But he's a sub. It's what you get. Can't be a chooser when you're a beggar. Ethan's going to grab this one now. Ethan's still a really good player. I, I don't mean to disregard his ability. Ethan is going to push it to the side here. He's stalled. This is really important stuff. Because if you give... Terrible twos, any room at all. They will take it. They'll be patient. And they will drive you nuts with it. And there's the shot from Kadox. That's the patience we're talking about. Just a light tap. Not rushed at all. Look at that pass off the wall. He's upside down while doing it. And Kadox finding the corner that he wanted to go to, recognizing where the offender was on the right, taking the left side net shot.
There goes Ethan. It's another shot that's going to bridge this gap a little bit and redeem Ethan a little bit more. That would be triggered. Just can't quite touch it. K-Dogs trying to bump into it there we go there's a nice opportunity about to be triggered trying to find his way into this offense as well if we can just find a nice clear for lo-fi drive when they do that kind of stuff when they're pushed and pressed so far into enemy territory a nice clear leads to an open net shot Karyaga taking the shot that one's gonna go in somehow the shot finds a way it's a big pass coming out of Ethan too. Just amazing shot selection as K-Dogs rolls off the post there, can't run into the ball whatsoever. Ball's floating, terrible twos. Find the shot off the cross guard, a bit too high. So Karyag is gonna try and grab this one. Bit of a soft mid play, midfield pass or touch. triggered can't quite roll it past lo-fi drive this time but he's still keeping it in play eating at the time it's pretty important for those guys a minute remaining here if they want to try and keep this lead just eat the time chew it up spit it out well don't spit out you want to just eat it <laughs> i guess you don't want to chew it out so a minute remaining here more time could be chewed up or a bigger lead could be uh Brought for it's really up to, to terrible twos at this point. Karyaga trying to make something happen. He's going up for it. He's a pretty clutch player. He's he's probably listening to really good music right now, and he's in the zone. And Ethan trying to get it back to him, back in the hands of Karyaga. I think that's what we want at this point. Got to be triggered. Tries to flip it up and float it into the shot. Ethan and Karyaga are going to go up for this. So here comes the pass play from Ethan. It's going up. The follow through. Oh, Karyaga can't quite touch it. Can't quite shoot it. It's not a shot. So 10 seconds here. It's do or die in game number three here for these guys. Save from Ethan. Karyaga rolling into it. Can't roll it past K-Dogs. And the ball not quite grounded. And there it is. Terrible twos are going to claim their lead there are one step closer to a rematch with ISO. Definitely something that they probably want. It was a, a pretty big loss in that series that we just had. So a rematch, that's that's definitely what these guys are looking for. Lo-fi drive, just find and just trying to find an opportunity to make their sell, themselves known. Ethan! has been subbing for people and killing off the teams he's in. He wants to prove himself that he's worthy of being in those grand finals. So let's find out what happens here in our next match here on Salty Shores. Perfect map, map for about to be triggered. But this is what we were talking about. Terrible twos are up. They only need one more win. That's a huge mental boost. You can play a lot more relaxed at this point when you see the, the stats up in the top. Got to be triggered. Just trying to find... Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me with that pinch? You know, we talk about when a substitute... Look at this pinch. Just a... Crazy pinch coming out of Ethan and Karyaga. We talk a lot about when a substitute subs in for the team, how the chemistry is kind of off balance for a little bit. But look at that. That's just pure chemistry. Oh, we want to see more of that if this game is going to head to game number five. What's up, Space Elvis? We're heading to the grand finals after this. If you're just tuning in, grand finals of the OSL season number one might just come to an end 
on this very night. Tell your friends, tell your grandmother, and tell your dog. Karyaga going for an open net shot. Goes off the post and the follow-up. Oh my goodness. Karyaga's warming up here in game number four. Game number four is heating up for these guys. Space Hills, let me know if you want to co-cast Grand Finals. I need someone. It's actually Space Elvis' dog right now. Oh my goodness, the dog loves the rocket log. I don't know why I said it. I was trying to rhyme it, but it would have turned into rocket log, and that doesn't make sense. So here we go, K-Dogs. Gonna boost it. Can't quite find the shot. This Karyaga was waiting. Here comes the clear from Ethan. About to be triggered. Almost a back pass to his friend K-Dogs, and Ethan finds a way to get it to Karyaga. Karyaga tries to go for the shot. It's going off the post just barely. He's trying to finesse it. And K-Dogs, it's his turn to finesse it. But a huge pinch coming out of the defense. Yeah, no problem. We might uh, think about analytics. That might be fun. But uh, yeah, let me know if you want to do that. Huge. Oh my gosh, that double tap almost went through. Terrible twos. They are relentless on this side of Lo-Fi Drive, but it's not finding anything. It's not. Nothing's happening. All right, if you don't want to, it's totally fine. I was just, if you were available and energized, we could do it, but it's totally fine, man. Ethan's going to drag this one and push it downfield. K-Dogs doesn't want that one to progress at all. Here we go. He's got no boost, so he's going to opt for a, a nice shot that still went off the floor and the bounce up. Okay, I'm going to turn this one back around once again. Look at our aerial view here. Ethan's going to miss it. That's okay. But he takes the shot anyway, and nice save from about to be triggered. Helicopter is flying up now. Let's see. About to be triggered now. It's his turn to whiff. Another whiff from K-Dogs. Karyaga bouncing it down. It could have been a pinch. Another whiff on near own goal. And Ethan, after that incredible butterball moment, is able to secure the goal. All right. Game number three here. Four, sorry, I just saw three. The big three that Lo-Fi Drive have. They are killing it in game number four. They want it bad. They want to head to game number five, but that's a nice opportunity for Terrible Twos to come back in this game. Still a lot of time left, so they might have just what it takes to end Lo-Fi Drive's career. Back to this corner now. Nice stop from K Dogs. Big pinch. And there's the whiff. Terrible 2 is going to help him out. I mean, Trigger is going to help him out. And there's the clear minute 10 remaining. Lo fi drive, they need to find a way to chew at this time. That could be big clears. That could be uh, just kind of awkward positioning of the ball too on the offensive or defensive side just find a way to chew at 53 seconds and they've got themselves an opportunity to go to game number five that's a big demo demos are a nice way to chew up time that's a lot of space that's at least three seconds that you're out of the game you take someone out and uh, you obviously don't want to go for demos too much but it is viable in this stage of the series There goes Ethan. Going for another shot. It's an open net. Karyaga can't quite get to it as K Dogs finds a pinch save here. With 15 seconds here. 
it's looking a bit grim here for game number four as Ethan is going to throw the dagger down and get another goal. He's warmed up. Took three games, but he's here and he is ready for battle. And there's the another shot almost. Goes a bit high. So yeah, game number five, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to a game five in our lower bracket finals. Not only is the winner of this game guaranteed to head to the grand finals. Just a mic. But the winner of this is a winner. I, I, I don't know where he's going with that. They so here we go. Game number five. Yeah, everyone on YouTube doesn't know what I'm saying, but I am reading Twitch chat. And there's a big shot, a big demo. Not going to turn into anything, though, this time. Oh, gosh. I meant to change the mutator. That's okay. Winner of this, guys. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just look at the scores and the time. That's all that matters as we head into... Game number five. The winner of this, of course, goes to the grand finals as we were talking about earlier. K Dogs is going to push it forward. He's got an open end opportunity, but Karyag is going to get there in time as K Dogs had zero boost to work with for that opportunity or the challenge that he had presented to him. About to be triggered. going to push this one. He's going to follow it up. A bit too right. Ethan's going to go up with it. Now we're going to want to look at lo fi drives momentum that they had they had a lot of momentum in game number four especially at the end there ethan was locking in goals left and right cariago was kind of just watching so i kind of want to see where they're where they're at where their heads are at now the reset might help uh refresh about to be triggered the pause pretty much might help k dogs and their mindset to get back into this thing you know they had an opportunity and now they uh they only have this one last opportunity left About to be triggered, secures that goal, and that's a good start. Cool WUI Fi, give my Discord a no tie that I'll be co casting with you. Question mark. I think I understand what you're saying, so yes, you can do that and post the stream, it'll be fun. <clears throat> okay. One minute, sorry, one goal. That's a strong lead for these guys. K Dogs and his friend find another goal at this open opportunity. Ethan is cracking, man. He keeps saying, My bad. I think he's having a bad time of it. What am I doing? says Ethan4350. What you're doing is you're putting an end to your third team this season that's impressive that's gonna be an osl record that will never be broken again but we'll find out if that keeps up ethan's gotta find a way to get out of his funk find the right mentality with his teammate Karyaga. Karyaga, of course find trying to find his own groove as well they've both been hot in this series both have found a lot of groove in themselves and with each other so about to be triggered trying to find a way to trigger them both keep them uncomfortable keep them just out of the zone so that they can continue to uh, just make these great goals that they have been making here in game number five e ethan's gonna go for the clear off the cross guard giving it to Karyaga, but i don't think he had a lot of boost to work with there so he's not gonna be able to push it forward and the shot k dogs really securing the lead here two minutes and 27 seconds Karyaga a bit frustrated. Uh-oh. Saint pulling out the GG with 2 minutes and 27 seconds remaining. Coming from a GC, you think with that much time left, anything could still happen. Of course, K-Dogs and about to be triggered to have really stepped things up here. But still, anything can happen with two minutes remaining, let alone the extra seconds that just happened. But that's another goal. That's another blow to the morale of Lo-Fi Drive. 
A lot of emotions here. It's been a long season for all these players. Not playing with your original teammate doesn't help either. Or Kariaga. But they're still fighting. The competitive drive that all of these guys have is not dead yet. Kariaga pushing it downfield. Battery Trigger's waiting for him though. And there's Ethan. He's going. Pushing it downfield gets barely saved by K-Dogs. Kariaga, it's only going to take one goal for the dream to be placed for Lo-Fi Drive. And there's a big demo. Kariaga and Ethan have some room to work with. We need to see a solid clear. ASAP to make the most of that demo, but Kadox is already back from his respawn. And Ethan's gonna get the clear. Kariaga can go up for it, can go for the redirect. He didn't have a lot of boost though, so he wasn't able to get as high as he wanted. Ethan takes the shot. It's not gonna even connect with the post though that time. Just a bit too wide. But we're still here on green side. That's the fight that Lo-Fi Drive has. And the shot gets blocked by K-Dogs. Another nice save. But we're still here on green. That's the drive that Ethan and Kariaga have. But Ethan's going to miss that net. So sad. The mentality for these guys has been shattered as the fifth goal has been scored. At this point, we're just hoping for a Brazil. That would be soothing. A soothing way to end. And there's the sixth goal. We just need two more goals to complete Brazil. So yeah, it's pretty much over at this point. What we're gonna see in our grand finals though, ladies and gentlemen, will be exciting. We're gonna see a rematch between ISO and Terrible 2s. They just faced each other about an hour ago, maybe an hour and a half ago. And of course, why we're here now is because Terrible 2s lost. Really close, it went 3-1. And uh, so now, they're gonna have another opportunity to win it all, to beat them up and fight for the title of Orb Star Champion. A huge run has been placed and claimed for Lo-Fi Drive Minute here. A little bit of an opportunity here to complete Brazil, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Big demo and we're grounded. So terrible twos, secure. That crazy best.